Celebrity relationships are dramatic enough without adding pregnancy to the mix. Unfortunately, pregnancy often marks the end of some very memorable public relationships. Here are a bevy of stars who all split up when an upcoming birth came into the picture. Christina Milian and The Dream split up just nine days before the birth of their daughter Violet. According to TMZ, the producer filed for divorce on February 17, 2010, and Violet was born on February 26 of that year. However, the public apparently didn't know about the split until that July, and the breakup was ugly. In a missive on his own website, The Dream claimed he was so distraught over the failed marriage that he tried taking his own life. Before the breakup was even announced, he dished in interviews that he didn't help out much in raising the little girl. We make it work. You know, the most important thing is our daughter. TMZ reports that Milian accused the dream of cheating on her and felt overwhelmed at signing divorce papers while nine months pregnant. Thankfully, the exes reportedly reached an amicable agreement by November 2010. Heidi Klum's ex, Flavio Briatore, dumped her shortly after she got pregnant with their daughter Lini in 2003, and he's basically had no hand in raising the little girl. Briatore allegedly doesn't regret it at all, because Klum's then-partner, Seal, stepped in to be a daddy to Lini. The Italian businessman told Italian newspaper El Corriere de la Sera in 2015, Lini is my natural daughter, but the three of us happily agreed that it made more sense if Seal adopted her, because a child needs to grow up in a family. Heidi, Seal, and I have built an amazing relationship. It's hard to miss a baby that you never see, but I know that Lini is not an abandoned child. Klum welcomed Lini into the world in May 2004, Seal adopted her and changed her last name to Samuel to match his own, and the couple wed in 2005. However, Klum and Seal have since split, and she's now married to rocker Tom Kalitz. Moesha actress Shar Jackson was engaged to dancer Kevin Federline when she got pregnant with their second child in late 2003. Unfortunately for her, by early 2004, K-Fed met none other than global pop superstar Britney Spears, and the Oops I Did It Again singer inadvertently spelled the end of Federline and Jackson's engagement. In June 2004, Spears and Federline tied the knot, leaving Jackson in the dust. Jackson gave birth to son Caleb a month after Federline and Spears' wedding. Though Federline and Jackson are on friendly terms now, it was understandably an ugly situation for quite a while, with Jackson revealing in 2005 that she and Federline were still together when he began seeing Spears. She told Sister to Sister magazine, "...how do you call yourself a human being knowing that you put somebody else through that pain? That's a vicious cycle right there, man. We gotta break that." That time, it was… it's like a whirlwind, you know? You the pair have since made peace, perhaps in part because Jackson also told Sister to Sister that she didn't want child support from Federline, just for him to spend time with their kids. Tom Brady dated actress Bridget Moynihan for three years before their split in December 2006. One month later, Moynihan's rep confirmed that she was pregnant with the New England Patriots quarterback's baby. The timing could not have possibly been worse. Brady had already very publicly moved on with supermodel Giselle Bundchen, which left Moynihan understandably unhappy. Moynihan told More Magazine in 2009 that she didn't find out she was pregnant until two months after her periods became irregular. So in the NFL star's defense, he didn't know she was expecting when he began traipsing around red carpets with the then Victoria's Secret Angel. Still, Moynihan noted, Tom was not in the delivery room. He was there on that day and came in afterwards. He certainly wasn't holding my hand while I pushed. In April 2019, Moynihan told Bill that she's still working through the aftermath of her public split more than a decade later, but revealed that she, her current husband Andrew Frankel, Brady, and Bunchen are all cooperative co-parents now. When Mary Louise Parker was pregnant with longtime boyfriend Billy Crudup's son, William, in 2003, he dumped her for Claire Danes. Parker never spoke outright about the breakup, but did touch upon its impact on her life in her 2015 memoir, Dear Mr. You. In one chapter, Parker writes a letter to a cab driver she encountered shortly after the split, whom she berated for getting lost. The driver said he didn't want her in his cab anymore, and she broke down, wailing, "'No one does. I am pregnant and alone. I'm trying to get through it, but I'm by myself every night and every morning, and no one, nothing helps. I'm sorry I yelled. Please, I know I am awful. It's been made clear, but please look at me." Meanwhile, Cruda hinted to the Los Angeles Times that he thinks his personal life temporarily affected the types of roles he was offered, but chalked it up to his own behavior, admitting, "...not that I haven't behaved like an a that's common to human experience, and maybe I've done that as a public figure in a way that's hard to handle. But that's part of existence, dealing with frailties. Despite their bitter split, these two have managed to successfully co-parent their son, who's taken to writing and directing his own work. In January 2020, Crudup revealed to Us Weekly that he and Parker even co-starred together in one of William's student films. 
Denise Richards and Charlie Sheen married in 2000 after meeting on the set of Spin City. In 2005, the couple split when Richards was pregnant with their second daughter Lola. In documents from the divorce obtained by The Smoking Gun, Richards alleged that Sheen was verbally and physically abusive, and that she was previously discouraged from filing a restraining order because of the potential damage it could do to each other's employment and Sheen's own image. Richards also claimed that Sheen had lied to her that he was sober and not entertaining sex workers when they first began dating, and that she had believed him, alleging that he began abusing prescription drugs, looking at disturbing pornography of participants that appeared underage, and gambling, she added that his behavior was supposedly accompanied by severe mood swings. It fires in a way that is, um, I don't know, maybe not from this particular uh, terrestrial uh, realm. Richards claimed Sheen was so furious when he found out she was pregnant with their daughter Sam in 2003 that he demanded she get an abortion. However, she noted that for a brief period after Sam's birth, he was wonderful. That is, until Richards stopped breastfeeding and wanted to vaccinate Sam, at which point Sheen reportedly once more became verbally abusive. Sheen defended himself in a statement, calling Richards' claims a smear campaign. Of course, it's Sheen, so all of this was only the tip of the iceberg. The ex's battles have continued off and on for nearly two decades, usually over child support payments. In 2007, Eddie Murphy, quote, "...spectacularly dumped former Spice Girl Melanie Mel B. Brown when she was pregnant with daughter Angel Iris, after she allegedly said she wanted a break to mull over the future of their romance." The Daily Mail reported that Murphy initially denied paternity of the child until a DNA test proved the baby was his. The comedian wasn't a part of the child's life much until 2010, Brown claims. She said on her reality show, "...when the results of the DNA test came in and Angel was in fact, no surprise, Eddie Murphy's child, I encouraged their relationship from day one, and I didn't really hear anything for a few years. So this year, it's been really, really nice that they've both been able to get in contact with each other and get to know each other. Unbeknownst to press and the media, Eddie and Angel have started seeing each other, but it's always been behind closed doors. In December 2018, Us Weekly reported that Murphy was taking care of Angel in Los Angeles, while Brown recovered from broken ribs and other injuries at home in London. Sources said at the time that Angel and Murphy were spending quite a bit of time together, and he posed for a sweet photo with all ten of his children, Angel included, that same month. Rapper Nas and Milkshake singer Khalees split when she was pregnant with their son Knight in 2010. Nas told Complex in 2012, "...there was a point where we were trying to hold onto a relationship that was finished. She was pregnant and in the studio while we were recording Distant Relatives. And Knight would move when the music would come on. That was a great feeling for me, just to have that feeling of family. It ended around the time the record was being done." Khalees had a bit of a different take on why the marriage failed, writing on Instagram, "...I divorced his cheating behind. I don't want him back at all." The split may have been even uglier than anyone imagined, however. However, in a 2018 interview with Hollywood Unlocked, Khalees accused Nas of being both mentally and physically abusive throughout their marriage, including while she was pregnant, as well as of abusing alcohol. She also admitted to hitting him back during their altercations. Khalees also confessed that if she hadn't been pregnant, she may have stayed with Nas. Meanwhile, the rapper later denied her allegations on Instagram, accusing Khalees of being verbally abusive to their associates and claiming her interview was a negative reaction to their joint custody agreement. Actress and model Elizabeth Hurley was in an 18-month relationship with millionaire Steve Bing when she got pregnant. He reportedly dumped her almost immediately and demanded a paternity test. Sources close to Bing told The Telegraph that the royal star, quote, "...snuckered him into having a child and that she reportedly refused Bing's request to have an abortion." After son Damien was born in April 2002 and was confirmed by a DNA test to be his, Bing reportedly offered to pay generous sums to the boy, which Hurley refused. A source told The Daily Mail, "...Steve has always said that he would be generous if Damien turned out to be his his son, and he was happy to agree to pay £100,000 or $123,000 a year to his upkeep. If she decides not to use the money, it will be kept in a trust for Damien when he grows up." There was later a potential wrinkle in Damien's inheritance from his paternal grandfather's trust, which was specifically set up for the elder's grandchildren. Damien, who has since followed in his mother's footsteps by signing with Test Model Management, scored a major win in court in 2019, according to the Daily Mail, after millionaire Dr. Peter Bing reportedly tried cutting him out of his inheritance because he was born out of wedlock. A judge ultimately ruled that Damien was indeed a beneficiary and should receive, quote, at least several millions upon the trust's expiration in October 2020. Sherry Shepard married her second husband, Lamar Sally, in 2011, and Sally filed for divorce from Shepard in May 2014, when their surrogate was six months pregnant with their son, Lamar Jr. This created a lot of complications in the split, because Shepard had no biological tie to the child and didn't want to pay child support for the baby boy. A judge ruled in 2015 that Shepard was, in fact, considered Lamar's mother, and TMZ reported that she eventually agreed to pay $4,100 a month in child support. In February 2017, however, Shepard made clear that she considers Lamar Jr. to just be Sally's child, not hers. She told Dr. Oz, "...I had a very uh, tight uh, prenup, mm -hmm. um, but there's a baby, 
here. She went on to say, And I have always said I would take care of his son because he's here and I make money. I always said I would provide financially. DJ and producer Diplo's on-again, off-again girlfriend, Catherine Lockhart, was off again when it was revealed she was pregnant with their second child, and Diplo was dating Katy Perry at the time. Us Weekly reports that son Laser Lee Lewis Pence was born in November 2014. Diplo and Perry split not long after the birth, but Lockhart and Diplo haven't publicly reunited since then. Still, they have always seemed really amicable. Before their split and after the birth of their first child, Diplo told Ask Men of Love and Relationships, I've learned a lot. You don't really have a chance with a real relationship unless you would give up everything for it. Now I'm with an awesome girl with a baby, and I didn't plan it, but I couldn't ever ask for a better person to share this life with. He also admitted to Rolling Stone in 2012 that he and Lockhart got pregnant by accident with their first child and were living together, even though they weren't exactly dating anymore, adding that he had local girls in other cities. Little Women LA star Brianna Renee split from husband Matt Grundhofer when she was pregnant with his child after he was allegedly busted while cheating on her, Radar Online reported. According to the media outlet, Grundhofer reportedly sent explicit messages to a woman named Michaela, then graduated to full-on sexting and nude photos, complete with identifying tattoos, before Michaela says she put the kibosh on the affair. In a clip from the show, Grundhofer sobs to Renee, I feel like I made a horrible decision. A horrible decision. And that decision cost me more than I know to say." An unmoved Renee remarked to the cameras that she needed a break and space from Grundhofer, adding, "'I understand he's hurting. I understand he's sorry. I understand all that, but I don't care.'" The couple reconciled just before she gave birth to their son Maverick. However, TMZ reported that Renee gave Grundhofer the boot for good in November 2017, after they finalized their bitter divorce, during which time the son reports, Renee and their son were granted a five-year domestic violence restraining order against Grundhofer. Renee got remarried to artisan carpenter Tim Manning in December 2019. Before Tristan Thompson got then-girlfriend Khloe Kardashian pregnant, he dated stunning model Jordan Craig, who also became pregnant before they split. Craig gave birth to Thompson's child in December 2016. People reports that Thompson began dating Kardashian that September. So Craig was likely about five months pregnant when Thompson took up with the reality star. However, Thompson and Kardashian have each adamantly maintained that the NBA star was single when they first started dating. Still, Craig believed he was certainly cheating, and not just with the reality starlet. According to court documents obtained by Radar Online, Craig alleged that she confronted Thompson about his supposed infidelity with at least one other woman before Kardashian even entered the picture, saying, "'Tristan insisted he would change for our family and tried to get back together on numerous occasions.'" She also claimed in the filing that she saw paparazzi photos of him with the woman whom she'd accused him of cheating at an earlier time. Craig also alleged that Thompson's reported affair with Kardashian caused her so much stress during her pregnancy that her obstetrician recommended she go on bed rest. If Tristan Thompson and Khloe Kardashian were indeed hooking up behind Jordan Craig's back, karma came swiftly for Coco. In April 2018, just days before Kardashian gave birth to her and Thompson's daughter True, video footage emerged of Thompson with other women. One video posted by TMZ was from October 2017, which would have made Kardashian about three months pregnant at the time. Footage from April 2018 featured Thompson entering a New York City hotel with another woman. TMZ reported that Kardashian began having early contractions on April 11, 2018, though her due date wasn't until the end of the month, noting, "...it may not be a coincidence that contractions happened just hours after video surfaced of Tristan hooking up with other women." Kardashian and Thompson were estranged afterward, but over time, their couple status became relatively murky, until it was reported that Thompson kissed Kylie Jenner's BFF, Jordan Woods, at a party, at which point the pair were seemingly done forever. WNBA stars Brittany Griner and Glory Johnson were only married for one month when Griner filed for divorce in 2015, which came as little surprise because before they tied the knot, they were each arrested for assault in a domestic dispute. At the time, Johnson was pregnant with twins, who she claimed to TMZ, she planned on raising with Griner and were conceived via in vitro fertilization. However, Griner claimed to have no biological ties to the unborn babies, and said in documents obtained by TMZ that she didn't even know of Johnson's plans for the pregnancy. Griner would later say in an interview that she knew Johnson was pregnant, but was simply shocked that Johnson would announce the pregnancy at just nine weeks. The pair's divorce was finalized in the summer of 2016, with a judge ruling that Griner had to pay Johnson $2,516 per child per month in child support. But neither party had to pay spousal support. By then, Johnson had already moved on from Griner with a new partner. NBA star Brandon Jennings was excited enough about then-girlfriend Tay Heckert's pregnancy to announce it on Instagram in May 2015. 
However, a month later, Jennings boasted on social media about being single. Shady much? Hecker gave birth to Jennings' third child, their only one together, in November 2015. And since then, the two have appeared to be at odds. In July 2019, Jennings slammed Heckard for allegedly trying to get cast on Basketball Wives, writing on Snapchat that she wasn't actually a wife. He went on to shade her for allegedly speaking poorly about him, and later added, If I'm not bothering you or asking you for anything, you don't exist to me. That means don't ask me for sh We're sure that should go over well at the child support hearing. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.